Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about this project. So this site, north up the page, first of all, is in the country. Uh, to the east, there is a creek that runs through this part of the landscape, but it's also a fire source. So the fire brigade has requirements about where we can put a house, how far the house has to be from trees, and of course, then there's tree protection, what trees need to be protected. So there was um, some tension between how far you need to be away from tree line, safety in bushfires. So that is the west wall, west embankment. This is the cleared, so that's the embankment there. This is looking to the northeast, east northeast. That's the building site. And that was the beginning of a mud brick home that never went anywhere. Over the side is where we created the water catchment area. So the tree shadow shows that the north is that way, east is that way. This is looking out over the area that we created um, a catchment area, so it was relatively untreed. And this area, there's to the south of the site, there was an existing footing, very small footing. And um, these trees are highly volatile in bushfires. So we had, to, that was a strand of ghost gums, beautiful gum trees. And then this here is looking at the mountains over the west from the top of the site. Here is where the bushfires come from. So we use this embankment and um, a double brick wall with two hour fire rating as a um, safety measure in the design of the building. And in this area here, this water all fed back here into this little valley at, run, at the bottom of the re, uh, bottom of that face, brick face. And we run the water down here, pick up water back along here. And um, that's where we've created, created the catchment. And um, Australian bushfires are really, really powerful. The thing was, we just want a place safe enough for people to escape. But so this, this area here was um, an existing low point that we ran the water around into the, into the orchard area. We used this wall and then we created a brick face. That's up here. That's this wall here. That's the wall that faces west. And um, there's a little sun pattern in the brickwork. Now, this is the north face, and this is the beginning of the orchard. This is just right, right when the building was finished. The next one we look at, as architects and landscape designers, we're looking at combining. The living pod principle was that you have, in a construction, in a building, you have private space and community space. Now, that can be a single room. It can be a small home. It can be... Uh, a bigger complex it can be an apartment and uh well spatially th this is the formal entry this is the rural entry and this is the connection out um, from the social space we have a bedroom living pod a bedroom living pod so two two small dwellings and then this is an art space then there's the service area and then there's the kitchen and the living. So this was based around solar passive design to the north. Veranda around the back is against the driving winds and rain. So rain comes up the valley here. Got an extension of um, eaves for the rain to the south and, and uh, southeast, and also the sun from the more summer sun coming in in the morning. And then the the summer sun of an evening is blocked by this hill and this escarpment and then the brick wall. So it's a solar passive design. It's also got passive house technology. So this passive house technology, this is uh, internal intelligent membrane. It lets water vapor out, but keeps air in. And um, the clients wanted something. We've done a lot of work with sacred geometry and complex geometry and crystalline geometry rather than rectilinear geometry. So we work a lot with geometry and yet it was still economical to build. We use seconds bricks and we use simple timber trusses. So we're experienced in this sort of work. So. Um, we know how to still make something that's affordable. And then the main thing is that wall is very exposed, one, to western summer winds. It's a fire source. It's western summer sun, of course. People arrive from this area. So this, and then the recess is the formal front entry door. And then there's the, the other entry door for general day use. 
And then there's a gallery space through here. They have a gallery. So the thing is, these walls, um, really, it's it's um, creating a, a very strong brick wall to the west. There's a door here with a tiny window. But basically, it's a, a wall to break up winds and sun and just to give some protection. Well, this is a very hostile side of the building site. So it's just various devices to, for example, this wall um, creates reflected sun into this area during winter because this is the north. So it's just a warmer space in winter, in the middle of the day. In summer with the winds, it's also slightly a slight windbreak. It's, it's a variety of devices to just improve the environment in summer and winter. And then the bricks were seconds and we asked the bricklayers who were 68 and 72 in age to pick out the orange bricks to make a sun pattern for us. On plan, the bricklayers had difficulty with these shapes, but in every corner is a finger joint like this. So you can change. It's actually quite quick to make that joint. But um, they didn't like it so much to start with. By the end, they enjoyed and were proud of their work. Then he went on to do his own house. 